quiet on set. Action. Day at the office. Good morning, Merlin. Hey. Have you heard the Flora Festival is going to have a parade float along Harkins Road? <gasps> Rose! What was that for? I had to, you were in shock. I was just thinking about Rose. It all happened so fast. But you went into extreme shock. You should probably go see a doctor. You need to move on. A doctor? No way. Probably nothing anyway. Hmm, I heard about a grief specialist. I'll schedule you an appointment to see him right now. What about work? Don't worry about it, you work too much anyway. I don't know, Nicole. I don't want to forget her. Just give it a shot. Okay, I'll go, but you have to lay off the coffee. I'm no, I'm not addicted. Ah, Merlin, how are you? My name's Dr. Vertigo, but my friends call me Professor Vertigo. That's not how the. Never mind. Hello, Professor. What seems to be the problem? Well, Professor, Murdy went into a frozen state this morning when I asked him a simple question. I think he's still thinking about his wife. Hmm, I see, I see. I'm glad you asked. This machine will allow me to look into Merlin's suppressed mind and release it. Is it safe? Wait, what? In order to move on, he has to relive the memory and then let go. What? This can't be happening again. Rose, no! He's trying to change what happened. He can't accept it. He will only get better if he doesn't try to change it. No! Let's try that again. Just let it happen. Went to your subject, you'll be set free. Ah, that's so loud. Turn it off. I'm trying to fix it. This is too much for him. Just turn it off. We can't turn off the machine now or else he'll stay in there and be in a coma. There's nothing I could do, Rose. How do you feel? You look so much better. I do feel so much better. Still tired though. I know I'm ready to move on now. Don't go home without paying your bills.
So do you want to go to the Flora Festival? Sure, why not? <laughs> 